for the NCA uh, a meeting with a lot of the general contractors, AGC contractors throughout New England. And this is the first time uh, I've been here at the training center too in Boston. What a, what a beautiful facility this is. It's really a testament to the carpenters of, uh, of New England. Well, the NCA is, uh, is, a, is the operating engineers and the carpenters, and, and what we do, we meet with a lot of, uh, mostly in the road building and big uh, uh, commercial uh, construction side to try to promote the, the industry with the union carpenters and union operating engineers and, and, and see what we can do to help the industry survive, especially in this, these tough times here. There, you know, there's uh, quite a bit of opportunity we think we can have because when we look at some of the job sites where on public works where there would be maybe three or four bidders at tops back in 207 and 206, you know, we're finding 20 bidders there. And we're getting a lot of people from outside that really don't have the expertise in the industry. So we're trying to go to the public agencies explaining that and, and also making sure our contractors are competitive and our, 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 uh, our members are up to the task to, to get that work. Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's a tough one. I mean, around the country right now, I've never seen this. I've been a carpenter since 1968. I've been through some recessions, but nothing like this. I mean, they talk about this being the great uh, recession for, for building and construction people. It's a, it's, it's a depression, there's no question about that. We're probably averaging about 30% unemployment. And it looks like it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be tough through 211. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we've got our fingers crossed that things can change. I know the president is, is looking at possibly another stimulus package. We think that that's essential to put people to work. Uh, it's a vicious cycle of people aren't working, they're not spending, you know. And today, uh, over 70% of the economy is consumer driven. So we think it's essential that, uh, that we, we, we get that next stimulus package through. I think the biggest thing is, is, is the politics of it and, and, and really going after that work, dealing with these developers, dealing with the users, and, and letting them know that the, the, that, that the carpenters and the operators in there to, to, to help do that job right. Because you know, a lot of times uh, in this environment, you get that low bid. It reminds me of the Fran oil filter commercial of a few years ago. You know, you can pay me now or you can pay me later. And I think we've got to sell our skill and our productivity. And if we do that, uh, we should be successful on more jobs than we're not. Well, I think we've got a very good convention coming up. Uh, and there, there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, unique speakers there. Uh, Paul uh, Begala from uh, uh, the Clinton administration is going to talk about uh, the difference between the Republican Party of today and the Democratic Party, especially the Obama administration, the work that Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid are doing in, 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 in the Congress. So I, I think uh, we've, got, uh, we've got a very good convention uh, set up for everybody. Well, when you look at our structure, and I, uh, uh, myself, Andy Sillins, and Doug Baines, and, and the General Executive Board have been working hard for the last 15 years to have a structure that's very responsive. And with our regional council, uh, we, uh, councils around the country, we are in a position when this thing turns around to be right there. And, and, and I, I, I look for great things as far as growth goes as far as putting our people back to work. Uh, I mean, we're right there. I think this training center that I'm sitting in right here in Boston is, is, is a good testament to that.